Oh, is it a lazy day? Is it a tired day? There's nothing to do outside because it's raining and you're lazy. This is pretty much what Huskies do when it is raining outside. So how can you fix that? How can you exercise your Husky when it is pouring cats and dogs? Pretty gross outside. What do you think, Brittany? Can't go play out there. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you are doing well today. It's a rainy one and we were thinking, oh my goodness, how are we gonna be able to run these Huskies today? Which got me to thinking, most of my viewers have been asking, what do you do? How do you exercise your Siberian Husko when it is raining outside? So we went ahead and put a list together of all the crazy cool things that you could do <laughs> with your Husky. He was like, BORING! We put a list together of all the crazy cool things that you can do with your Husky to get them energized, get them one, thinking, and two, moving if it is raining. So that's what today's video is going to be about. We wanted to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us every single day like you have been. Smashing that like button, subscribing, and hitting that bell. It sure does mean a lot to Britney Spears and Gila. They want to thank you so much. <laughs> Now there's no way around it, you can't go outside and run your husky if it is raining cats and dogs. But what you can do is you can exercise them in many different ways inside your own house and we're gonna be going over that right now. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how you can exercise your Siberian husky when it is raining like crazy. Come on! Let's go! So we just wanted to say we figured out why the stickers did not go up the other night when we said they were going to. It's because it was actually really funny. We actually put Britney Spears in the description of the stickers that you could buy. So because we wrote Britney Spears in the description, they copyrighted the entire thing, took it down. We have to change it now. We can't say Britney Spears. We'll just put B Spears and we will write it differently so you guys understand what is what so it doesn't really matter we just wanted to write it in the description for you but we're gonna get that fixed they should be up right now if you go in the link down below you should be able to get those stickers now it's safe to keep your dog inside it's safe to keep your husky indoors when it is raining because you don't want them to get struck by lightning you don't want them to fall into a puddle keep them out of the rain it will also keep them from getting sick getting things like pneumonia yeah that's right getting and stuff like that. So the two first physical things you're gonna wanna do with your pup are pretty obvious. These are things you might do with your dog every single day and they're great ways to tucker your husky out in no time. So the one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is play fetch. Now I know you're like 60, I already know how to play fetch, but listen up. Physical activities with your dog in the house are going to make them tired. They're gonna be pretty equivalent to running around in the backyard or going for a walk. Now, obviously, this doesn't fix the potty situation. You're going to have to let your dog go out potty, even if it is raining. Hopefully, you have a little spot by your house where you can just let them use the restroom and quickly jump right back inside. But if not, something that's always a good idea to do is go ahead and get yourself a few pieces of sod, a few pieces of grass, and keep them in your garage or keep them somewhere safe so that when it is going crazy, when it is raining, you can bust those pieces of sod out in the garage or in a bathroom and your dog can use the restroom and you can clean it up. It's super safe, super sanitary. Just make sure you clean it all up. Now, Fetch is going to tucker your pup out. Maybe you don't have a huge house and that's okay. You can always teach your dog to catch a ball. And by doing that, we recommend by starting with small treats. If you throw treats up in the air, it's likely that your dog is gonna try and catch them. And if you reward your dog for catching a treat, that will advance into catching a ball. For the best catching toys, we do recommend things that are soft and catch it just like that. Good girl, that's a good girl. Catching is a great exercise. It helps your dogs have a lot of fun. Dogs will likely go and run to a distance and wait for you to throw something. So fetch is a great exercise to play in the house when it is raining. Trust me, it will make your husky tired after a while. You got something to say, lady. You got something to say. There's a hundred other things that you can do. Tug of war is one of the best activities that you can do with your husky when it is a rainy day. 
day. It does require a little bit of strength on your part, but it is fun and it will tucker them out after a short while. If you guys don't have good quality tug of war toys, we're gonna go over what kind of toys you can get that are good for tug of war when it comes to your Siberian Husko. Now, first and foremost, I recommend socks because socks are super fun. Huskies love to play with them and they're mega inexpensive. You can get socks for about $11 for a dozen and that's under $1 a sock. They are awesome tug of war toys. Love to play tug of war with things that are soft. Now, this is the Nerf Tug, another amazing toy. We'll have it linked down below for you in case you wanna get it. This is another really awesome tug of war toy. Sometimes they're a little bit too heavy for Huskies, but my Huskies love this toy. They really love to play with it, chew on it. It's really good, it's like rubbery. It feels good on their teeth. So this is something that's good for tug of war as well. Another good tug of war toy is the Wubba. The Kong Wubba is a Husky favorite. These toys are so loved by Huskies. I don't think I've ever met a Siberian Husky that does not love a Kong Wubba. So get yourself one of these. These make amazing tug of war toys and they pretty much last the test of time. They do eventually break down and fall apart, but it takes a while, my friend. These three things right here on the floor are going to be awesome starters for tug of war toys. Now, Tug of War is something that you can play with your dog just by sitting down on the couch. All you gotta do is use your arm and tug against your dog's pull strength. Really easy and it's gonna get your dog working out on a rainy day. Now let's say you don't wanna do Tug of War. You're like, dude, I know how to do Tug of War. The next two activities I'm going to present to you are mind exercises. These are exercises that are going to make your dog think and they'll also make your dog exercise. So let's go over those right now. Now, one of the best things that you can do for your dog is word assign toys. For example, when Gila plays with this, I say, hey, this is donut, this is donut. Word assigning toys is going to be awesome because what that's going to do is help you encourage a brand new exercise. So let's start this exercise by taking all the toys in the house and putting them in one location, preferably a basket. Look at Britney Spears, he's like, I am guarding the donut with all four paws. So go ahead and put all those toys into a basket. Make sure you round them all up so that they're all in there. And what you are going to do is sit down with your pup. Once you have word associated your toys with your dog and you're going to say, hey, get the wubba. Get the wubba. Get the wubba. I want wubba. Get the wubba. No, that's, <laughs> that suck. That suck. But that's a good try. That's a good try. Keep the toy next to you so that they know that that is the wrong toy and ask them to do it again. Get wubba. Get the wubba. <laughs> a two for one, bro. That's the pulley. I don't want the pulley. I want the wubba. <laughs> Britney Spears, can you get the wubba? Good boy, get the wubba. Get the wubba. Get the wubba, buddy. Get the wubba, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. That's the wubba. That's the wubba. Good boy. Good boy. And then once your dog gets that toy, go ahead and reward them with play. They just did a good job picking out that toy. Reward them. Be like, this is the wubba. You got it, buddy. Look at look at Hila. She's like, I'm mad I didn't pick the right one. I picked the wrong one twice. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Good boy. Encouraging fun and exciting play like this is really gonna get your dog exercised. Good boy, good boy. Act like it's really fun. Be engaged with your dog. This is really gonna change up the game. Name associating your toys and having your dogs go and find that toy and highly rewarding them is not only going to make them smarter, but it's going to create a lot of exercise for their mind and their body because they're gonna be going back and forth to the toy box. They're gonna get some wrong and then they're gonna get some right and they're gonna be going Going back and forth. Hopefully you can keep this game going for about 30 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and that will keep your dog mega engaged in playing. This is going to get your Husky a lot of exercise when it comes to a rainy, rainy day. All right, Gila, you ready to go over the last one? You ready to go over the last exercise? This is a really, really crazy mind exercise for Huskies, and it gets them thinking. It usually takes them a long time to do this, but it has your Husky constantly 
concentrated on one thing for a pretty long time. Britney Spears, you ready to do the last exercise? You ready to do the last exercise, buddy? Look, both these huskies are already like panting a little bit. They're like, hey, we've been doing a bunch of stuff in here, just hanging out, filming, having some fun, doing these exercises. Let's do a little bit more. Come on, let's do the last one. Now this last exercise is a Toys R Us puzzle game. Now I know Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore, sadly, so you can't get this exact one, but there are plenty of them out there. And basically what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna hide treats in each one of these four little sections, and you're gonna have your husky try and find those treats. Now admittedly, this isn't exercise, but it is exercise for that big old melon up there that helps them think and get a little bit smarter. And guess what? We want all types of exercise in our doggo's life, not just the ones that make their feet go pitter patter, pitter patter, but we want the cogs moving as well. We want them thinking just as hard as they're moving. So let's go ahead and bust out that treat puzzle game and get our dogs motivated. <laughs> what can it be? It's a puzzle game. All right, let's go ahead and set up this awesome puzzle game. You're gonna wanna go ahead and get your high value treats. Put one in each location. So let's break off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Oop, oh, free treat. Put one in there. Go ahead and twist this bad boy like a lemon. Pull out the drawer, put one in there, and then flip this open and put it on the floor. Now let's go ahead and bring it over and get the Huskies to use their brain muscle. All right, guys, time to think. Time to think. Time to think with your brain. Good job, Britney Spears. Good boy. You already got one. He's like, I'm trying to get it. <laughs> get Bowie. Get Bowie. Now you can see they aren't going crazy. They aren't moving around. This isn't nutty exercise. And I understand you guys came here because you were like, I want my dog moving and grooving. This is really going to change things up. So keep your dogs focused on something for a little bit. Get their mind working. Get those cogs going. Look at Hila. She's already sitting down and using her brain like a scientist. It's like NASA up in here. There's literally quantum physics happening in this pupperoni room. Good girl, that's a good girl. That's a good girl, you found another one. Now always remember guys, engaging play is important. It's gonna be the best exercise you can give your dog if you can't take them on walks and take them outside. Make sure you grab that wubba, pick it up, and make it the funnest thing in the world that has ever existed. Your dog is constantly watching you to see what moves to make, what is important, what is fun, and when you make these things really engaging, you make your voice really high, you make things really fun, this is what gets your dog in a playful mode. Good girl. Totally missed that one. Good job, princess. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys took something from this and you were able to find one activity in here that will help you out to keep your husky busy when it is raining outside. There you go. That's exactly how she did it. If it did help you out, if you have anything you have to add, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell if you love visiting Britney Spears and Gila the Husky. We love you guys it means so much to us shout out to our patrons from patreon who always help us out so flipping much we will see you guys later with another episode of guess what yup whatever we make peace let me boop that husky nose